Hi, welcome to excelrush.com. Today we are going to learn the new IFS if s function in Excel 2016. So we have always used the if function in nested if as well, meaning if under if. So let me give you an example. This is the data set that we have. We have cities, names and ages. What we have to do is we have to give a category as per the age. So if somebody is less than or equal to 12 years, we use kid and so on and so on. First, I will show you using the normal if function where we do a nested if if under if so that you will understand the difference between if and ifs very clearly. So I'll say if this is less than or equal to 12, then we'll give the value as kid. We'll have to put one more if immediately for the next condition. If the age is less than or equal to 19, we'll give teen as a condition with the output if the age is less than or equal to 21 we'll give young adult as the output or else we will give as adult so anything above 21 will get adult i'll have to close one two three brackets this is how we used to normally do an if function nested if if under if and at the end we give a value of false so let me give you a quick preview when we say if we first give a condition, then value if true, and then the value if false. But when there are multiple ifs, what we do is we give a condition value if true, then below this we give one more if, then we again give a condition and the value of true, right? Below that we give one more if, and then again a condition and a value of true. And if we are done, we give a value of false with the closing brackets. Now, the difference between if and IFS is you give a condition one, you give a value if true one. So let me write one as well upside. So you'll understand this is the first, this is the first, this is the second, this is the second, this is the third, this is the third, right? So I'm giving if s condition one value of true one, comma directly i will give condition to either it will obviously be continuation i'm writing it down so you understand better value of true two comma no if required directly condition three value if true three now there is no value if false in this i'll come back to that how to give a value if false so here you only need to close one bracket this is the major difference between these two how do we write this so we say if s we give the first condition that is less than or equal to 12 and the value of true is kid i don't write if s again or if again directly the next condition that is less than or equal to 19 teen directly the cell less than or equal to 21 oops sorry young adult and i'll have to give a fourth condition because there is no possibility of giving a value of false so i will say this is the fourth condition anything above 21 will get adult and that's my formula and I'll close only one bracket instead of two that's my formula and when I drop it down I get all the correct values so the difference between if and if s is you give the if s only once and you give all your conditions and you will have to give a condition for the value of false but this is possible when you have your conditions something like an ascending order right like 12 19 21 21 but what if it is it is names of cities how will you give the value of false so let's bring up that so in this case we have to come up with a nearest center so again i'm not going to use if i'm going to use if s now because mumbai or wapi or baroda so i'm going to give the first condition in oring and i'll say if this is equal to ahmedabad comma or that is equal to wapi or that is equal to baroda close the or comma we will give a h1 as the center comma i will not do anything else i will directly start writing my second condition which is oring of this if it is equal to mumbai or pune or 
थाने क्लोज दी और देन विल गिव मूम वन एज दी सेंटर आई एम डन विथ माई आंसर क्लोज द ब्रैकेट एंटर दैट्स हाउ यू क्रिएट अर इफ एस फंक्शन वेन इट कम्स टू टेक्सट एज वेल बट देर इज अ मिसिंग एंट्री देर इज नो वलसाड इन द डेटा राइट देर वॉज नो वलसाड इन द डेटा इन द कंडीशन सो वॉट आई विल नीड टू डू I can remove this bracket and type well said. No, I cannot because it's asking for a condition, a logical test. There is no place to give a value of false. So what I will do is I will write if error in the beginning, and at the end I'll put a comma after the if else is over, and I'll say not given or data missing or whatever you want to write. And this is the formula that I should have ideally used across in my data. so wherever you don't get any value from the conditions you get a value of false in other words a if error value which is not given in our case so to give a value of false you have to use the if error condition in ifs right so when you are using an ascending order you don't need to use because you can give your remaining this one you can give your remaining condition easily but when it comes to text you can't give that condition right so you have to use an if error for it thank you for watching